Hello. So if you have ever worked with big data, then you could have probably heard about Apache Spark and then Databricks. So what's the difference between them? We know that both are a great choice for big data processing, but when it comes to Databricks, which uses Spark at the core and the open source Apache Spark, what's the key difference? So in this video, let's break down the differences and let's compare them side by side. We we'll look at the pros and cons of each of them so that you can make the right decision to pick the right tool for your data engineering project. So let's dive in. So what's Apache Spark? Apache Spark is one of the most popular big data processing tools available today. Spark's ability to perform something called in-memory computation allows it to process huge data sets really fast. Typically, in a production scenario, Spark is installed in a cluster that is like group of computers and it can parallelly use the power of all these computers to load and process your big data. Spark is often compared with something called Apache Hadoop and MapReduce, which were the standards before Spark. And when you compare Spark with, let's say, MapReduce, it is really fast. And the other interesting fact about Apache Spark is that it is modular. If you want to do SQL style of processing, then there is this Spark SQL module. And if you want to, let's say, analyze real-time data, so then there is a built-in module called Spark Streaming. You want to do graph style of processing, then there is a module called GraphX. And even there is a module called Spark ML, which will allow you to run machine learning AI at scale with Spark. Spark also supports many programming languages, including Python, Scala, Java, R, and even SQL, which makes it a great choice for many teams. And the other thing about Spark is that when you are using Spark, then you have to manage everything by yourself, including setting up Spark, setting up the clusters, installing the tool, performance tuning. So even though Spark gives you a lot of flexibility and ease, you will be responsible for provisioning, managing, and then performance tuning. Databricks, on the other hand, is a cloud-based platform found by the original creators of Apache Spark. What it basically does is that it takes this open source Apache Sparks and wraps it around and give you it in a fully managed environment. With Databricks, you don't have to install or configure Spark clusters from scratch. Everything can be automated. Instead of that, you get a user-friendly interface, collaborative notebooks, integration with a lot of storage systems, and a streamlined cluster management. A great advantage of using Databricks is that it runs on all the popular cloud computing platforms such as AWS, Azure, and GCP. And using its proprietary Databricks runtime environment, it gives you performance enhancements. Features like Delta Lake, which are by default integrated, gives you options like enabling asset transactions, version control, which will help you to track structured and semi-structured data with ease. In short, Databricks likes to turbocharge your Spark experience by heavy lifting the infrastructure and optimization. So now that we understood the what is what, let's compare them side by side. With raw Spark, you manage servers, clusters, configuration all by yourself. It is flexible but time consuming. With Databricks, it is a fully managed service. You just select the cluster size and rest everything is managed by Databricks. This reduces DevOps overhead and even reduces the deployment time. Apache Spark is often accessed by the help of a notebook or a script or some sort of an integration tool. Setting up um, CI, CD, version control, all this can be very challenging here. Databricks provide hosted notebooks, integrated version control, job schedulers, and a GUI to manage all this. Collaboration is much easier here since multiple team members can work on the same environment here. When it comes to Apache Spark, the sole performance of Spark depends on your fine-tuning capability. Databricks comes with performance optimization built in. Databricks runtime includes performance tweaks and caching strategies. The power of Delta Lake makes inserts, merges, and updates an ease. One of the greatest advantage of Spark is its integration with other tools. With Apache Spark, it's quite possible to set it up and connect with a tool like Power BI, for example. But with Apache Spark, you have to do all the integration by yourself, and this can be quite challenging. On the other hand, Databricks is designed to be compatible out of the box with major cloud platforms, storage services, 
security and governance, even cloud analytical tools. Okay, so now when should you go for Apache Spark? If you need control and customization on your infrastructure, probably you're running a project with a lot of security constraints. You have this on-prem cluster, then Apache Spark is the go-to tool. It's also quite useful if you are cost aware and you prefer more open source rather than the paid ones. And when should you go for Databricks? If you prefer the batteries included approach and you are natively in the cloud and you don't want to take overhead of setting up and managing infrastructure, then Databricks is the go-to tool. It accelerates time to market by taking care of things like setting up the infrastructure, managing it, and it even integrates with your most popular storage and analytical tool. And cost is another factor that you need to really consider. When it comes to Apache Spark, you might be getting it at a lower price. I mean, the open source is absolutely free, but you might be spending a lot of time, effort, managing your team and configuring it and providing the infrastructure, etc. With Databricks, remember that you have to pay a subscription fee. There is a premium involved in, but if you consider it, you might be saving a lot on your teammates' time and deployment, configuration, management, etc. Also keep it in your mind that on a longer run, Databricks might cause the so-called vendor lock-in issue. So what's the takeaway, right? So Apache Spark gives you a lot of flexibility and it is open source. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but at the same time, you might have to manage everything by yourself. On the other hand, Databricks simplifies your life by giving you a ready-to-use environment, but they charge a subscription fee. So depending on your choice and the requirements of your project, and also considering constraints and long-term use, you have to pick up one of them. So I hope this gives you clarity. Thank you. In case if you like this video, then please check out our Udemy course on Apache Spark and Databricks for beginners. Learn hands-on. I'll pin the link in the description. So in this course, we deep dive into Apache Spark with hands-on assignments, coding exercises, and we'll be covering the important APIs of Spark, such as data frames and RDDs and even Spark SQL. And if you really like our video, then please like the video, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to ITVersity YouTube channel so that you will be updated on the latest tech content as soon as we release videos. Thank you.